So today I'm talking about a Hyundai P1326 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Hyundai P1326 code? Well, depending on the scan tool and depending on the engine, you can get different definitions. For example, you might get knock sensor detection system. You, you might get knock signal range performance. If you have a diesel engine, you very likely are going to get glow relay stuck. But what does this all mean? Well, basically there's a knock sensor or sensors located in the engine. And when these detect a knock or vibration, the computer will activate this P1326 code because it thinks that the engine's having a malfunction and that there's some kind of knock going on. And so what are some symptoms? Well, very likely the check engine light's gonna come on, it's gonna start flashing. Quite often the vehicle will go into limp mode, you have power loss, it might even be difficult to start, and it might have problems idling, or it might be stalling out. And one thing to mention about this code is that this code is kind of notorious, and there has been recalls that's related to this code. For example, right here, I'm on this Hyundai website, and there has been recalls that's related to this knock sensor detection system. And it's related to different models. Looks like the 2011, 2018 Sonoda, the 13 to 2018 Santa Fe Sport vehicles. I'll put a link down below if you need to check this out. But if you do have one of these vehicles, then you might want to check to see if there's been a recall for that vehicle. And so if you are going to try to troubleshoot this, the first thing to do is to narrow down if it's a mechanical problem or it's a sensor or wiring problem. Because if there is a knock inside of the engine or if there is a vibration from the mechanical side, then this sensor is doing what it's supposed to be doing. And it's basically just reporting that the engine has a problem. A mechanical problem could be different things. It could be a bad rod. So if you are hearing a knocking noise, then there is an issue going on. So definitely keep in mind that this could be a mechanical problem or it could be a sensor or wiring problem. And so the first thing that can cause this problem is going to be that that knock sensor just went bad and just needs to be replaced. It can vary exactly where it's located, but it's usually located up underneath the intake manifold, which usually requires taking off the whole intake manifold. Although sometimes you can get underneath the car to drop the starter and you can reach up and in there. So it can vary a little bit on its exact location. So it's going to vary a little bit on exactly where it's located. But the first thing to go and do is to locate that knock sensor and either test it or replace it. If that knock sensor is good, then the next thing is to be sure there's no engine mechanical problems going on. If you hear a knocking, then you know that's a problem. But sometimes it won't be so obvious. For example, sometimes a really old, loose timing chain, sometimes they can become stretched out and it can throw the timing off, which will cause a vibration in the engine or knocking that you can't really hear, but the knock sensor will pick this up and it can cause issues. But the next thing you do is to check to see if there's a mechanical problem. The next thing that could cause the problem is that there's something going on inside the wiring, like an open or short, a bad connection, something like this going on. So the wire is going from the sensor to the computer. There's some kind of issue going on there that's just throwing everything off. So the wiring can be tested. And the last thing on the list is that the engine control module might need an update. The dealer might have an update for this and simply need to flash or update the ECM, the engine control module. So the last thing on the list is that the engine control module needs an update. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview how you go about fixing a Hyundai with the P1326 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.